Hey there everyone, this is Hamilton. Today we're going to be drawing in Photoshop. We're not just going to be drawing in Photoshop, we're going to be doing something that I just found out about. It's crazy, I can't believe there's no, there's no information about this on the internet. I am flabbergasted that there is no information about this on the internet. You can animate in Photoshop almost as well as Flash. I'll be real honest with you, not as well as Flash, but almost as well as Flash. You can animate in Photoshop almost as well as Flash, and I cannot believe that there isn't tons and tons and tons of videos about this on the internet. And the reason that I think that there aren't is because there's probably a, uh, a whole lot of, uh, how do I put this, um, prejudice against the video layers in Photoshop. People who don't do video editing draw artists, people who draw they don't give a crap about the video editing. And people who do video editing, video editors, they don't give a crap about Photoshop, and they scoff, scoff at the, uh, fo at the video editing in Photoshop. But I just found this out. For anybody who's in a slump that, uh, that Flash is floundering right now and wants to move somewhere else to do animating, I'm going to give you a solution that is not good. It is not a good solution, but it is an interesting solution, and it is, uh, there are a couple of uh, interesting videos that I saw uh, online on this topic, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, if you will, uh, how to do a little bit of animating, and I'm going to do a little bit of animating based on... Uh, some of the animations from, or some of the our drawings from Preston Blair's uh, cartoon animation, the book. If you've never heard of it before, it's pretty awesome. But basically, the way he does it is he has a whole bunch of animations that he set up, and he uses this four bar grid right here. I mean, there's a bunch of grids on here for videos. Don't worry. I made a new uh, a new file here. I made a new file, and I just set it to film and video. I chose a form, whatever, and when you do that, for some reason, Photoshop gives you these uh, some guides to start out with as a sort of frame for the video. And then uh, I'm going to put in these uh, these four guides right here because they're going to help me animate something. And what I'm then going to do, and I'm, I'm just going to lock all the guides so that I can't touch them ever again. Now, here is the key to animating in Photoshop. Are you ready? The key is down here in the timeline. And uh, I don't know if you remember this, but... Uh, I said it's not a good solution. It is an interesting solution, but it's not a good solution. But it's an, it's an interesting solution if you want to animate, but all you know is Photoshop. You don't have time to learn uh, Flash. You're still going to have to learn something, but it's not quite as much because you'll know the tools of Photoshop. Here's the deal. What you need to do is you need to make a new file, and you need to open up the timeline. If you don't have the timeline, you can find the timeline from Window Timeline. And once you've got the timeline open, here's where things get interesting, because this took me a while to figure out. What you have to do is you have to make a new layer, but not just any layer. What you're going to do is you're going to make a new blank video layer. And this new blank video layer is not going to be one... It's going to be one layer. And if you've ever made animations in Photoshop before, you know that the way you had to do it was you had to make 15 different layers. You had to combine them all into... Or you had to make them each their own frame. And it was a horrible, horrible, lengthy process, and it was stupid. This new blank video layer changes that. You're going to make one new blank video layer. It's going to come in. Currently, uh, down here in the timeline, you'll see this little zoom area where you can zoom in or out of your timeline. You'll see that what I'm looking at right now is one frame per second. Or at, that's not true. It's actually one frame is what I'm seeing. Um, each frame here is, is representing by, by one mark, and you can move this, uh, this scrubber around and see the different frames, and currently there isn't a frame. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab uh, Preston Blair's book open, and I'm going to draw a couple of things. One, I'm going to draw a guy's... Oh, my God! Turn off snapping. There we go. All right. I'm going to draw a dude's head right here, and then I'm going to draw an arm coming back like this and then I'm gonna draw a little bit of a how does this go uh, there's a little bit of this and there's a little bit of this and there's a little bit of this and a little bit of this and a little bit of this and you got a little bit of this oh it's it's so good it's so good because I drew it it's not though 
it's uh, it's good because Preston Blair is is amazing, and I'm not. By the way, if you've never heard of this book, it's pretty good. You should check it out. I'm gonna I'm gonna modify this drawing a little bit. Okay, there we go. Let me just let me just fix this up just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Perfect. I might even do a little fade back on the foot back here. And maybe a little fade back on the arm right here. Awesome. Okay, so we got our guy. And then we've animated him. Or we haven't animated, we drew him. And uh, and he's got some uh, lines so that I can guide myself through this because uh, I'm not really an animator, but I've always wanted to be. Um, here's the key. All right. What you're going to see is that if I scrub to the next frame of this animation, you're going to see that there's nothing there. And that's because video layers are only allowed one thing on each of their frames. They exist in the th in the fourth dimension uh, where you can still move them around in the regular three dimensions of X, Y, uh, Z, as in the layers. And then also, actually I don't know what the fourth dimension is called. Is it F? Yeah, we'll call it F. And then F, which is frames. So it exists in all four dimensions uh, on the document. Now, animating, and here's the big problem with animating previously in Photoshop, animating is hard to do when you can't see the previous drawing that you've done. And uh, Photoshop solved this apparently a couple of versions ago, but the... I'll be real honest with you. The timeline in anything before CS6 was awful. It was, it was rough, it was new, it was bad. Uh, what we can do, what we have had though for a while, and what we can do though is we can, in the flyout for the timeline, turn on what's called onion skins. And onion skins allow you to see what you've previously drawn. Look at that. So now I can continue to draw. And basically, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to start drawing on this new frame, move this guy's head down a little. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, do, 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 do. this guy's arm down a little. Uh, right there, I'm drawing. Yes, and he is coming down, and he is now set his foot down, and he is shoving forward. Yes, sir. Look at that. He's set his foot down now, and his his left foot is starting to move forward just a little bit, and his arm is moving more than now. Coming down. Oh, and he's going now. He's driving forward. You can see. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Look at this, you guys. It is possible to animate in Photoshop, something that I never thought would be possible. I never, I, I never thought they would get around to doing this. I'm actually just absolutely amazed that this is even possible. I just, I, I, I seriously can't believe it. So I'm not, I'm not really going to. Uh, I'm probably not going to talk too much here. Um, I'm just kind of, I'm not. I'm looking at the book. I got the I got the book next to me. It's it's amazing. If you've never ta if you've never checked out uh, um, the book, the book is uh, Cartoon Animation by Preston Blair. It's just got tons and tons of information that any any person wanting to be an animator should go get now. It's just like now. Um, here's Elon doing his foot back. In an even way, so it looks like the foot's constantly back in sort of an even motion. Not even. 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 Not even.
I guess brilliant and cruel all at once. Uh, I'm sure they were thinking about stuff. Really, these are the weird sort of tragic thing where he's like, I'll take all the troops. And so far, it's a strange, strange thing. Okay, but, can you make a crap? Really, I'm going to play it. Okay, now, let's see if we're going to do this. Okay, now, let's see if we're going to do this. Okay, now, let's see if we're Alright, I'm gonna leave him coming back. Stop it. Just expect it here. I should have been watching that comment. Oh, somewhere else. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna try to do something better than that. I realized I didn't get it. Enough. Was that looking? Oh, yeah. Let's do the last one. Last one here. Take him back up just a little bit. And arm comes back a little bit. And. And now, what you can do, now that you've finished your animation, is you can pull in the side of this a little bit so you can actually see exactly where your animation is. I'm just going to pull this in just a little bit and I'm going to extend this out a little bit so I can actually see what's going on. And basically, I want to leave that last frame in there and cut right there. And now, it should be that if I start playing, it's probably just going to uh, play one loop, which is why I think I, oh, no, I've got loop play black already showing, so it should uh, it should play back the whole thing. And if I should put play, oh my goodness, that looks like a little dude that's walking. He's walking really, really, really fast. And if I were to be too completely honest with you right now, I don't think I know how to change that information. Did I mention I haven't done anything with this yet? I don't know if I mentioned that yet. I haven't actually done anything with this. Here's the point. You guys, I just animated something amazingly. Uh, and uh, in Photoshop with onion skins in a process that, uh, as far as I was considered, would never happen. Um, I'm just going to crop this down a little bit and see if I can output this as an animation, uh, maybe with some slower frames or something. Maybe that's what I can do. Uh, let's see if I can't... Oh, wait, no, I probably need to finish my crop. Now, the final step in here is to actually output something. Now, you have the options here of outputting an actual video. You can render a video, but I'll be real honest, for what I just did right here, uh, outputting a video is a little bit overkill. So what you can do is you can just go and file save for web. And when you file and save for web, you can save it as an animated GIF. And when you're doing an animated GIF, uh, I'll be real honest, I don't know why I'm getting such a small color table here. I'm not really too worried about it, but uh, uh, for some reason it's only giving me black and white. Um, that's fine, I guess. Oh, is it because I'm on four colors? Can I get more colors? No? Not gonna give me more colors. Whatever. All right, so I've got my animation here. It uh, it runs. Look at it running. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to make it loop forever. And there it goes, looping forever. Awesome. And now you can save it. And once you've saved it, then you can do whatever you want with it. Guys, that's as easy as it is. It's uh, it's pretty amazing. Um, not the best, not the best tool out there for animation. Uh, uh clearly Flash is better. Toon Boom's amazing if you've never tried it. Um, but uh, uh, it's a neat solution. So there you go, you guys, animating in Photoshop.